Thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how thrilled and how humbled I am to be a part of tonight's festivities. I'm so happy that I was invited to be here. Thank you, Larry, for inviting me. Dottie loved you, your family. It's just a, a, a true, true special, special moment for me. I uh, was raised in East Texas, sang in the Missionary Baptist Church from the time I was a little bitty thing. And I realized before I even learned to read, I was singing. And as I learned to read and I saw a lyric sheet, one of the names of the writer kept appearing on each page, and it was Dottie Rambo. I was drawn to her music. She touched me, and she just had this special, beautiful gift of writing what a lot of us, the questions that we have about heaven, the, the fears we have about our journey here on earth, she wrote this down with her, with her pen and her pad, and she spoke for so many of us around the globe. And tonight, I think she would be proud that I was going to be here to sing a song for her, but I tell you what, I think she would fuss at me if I didn't take the opportunity to invite everyone that's hearing my voice to get to know the Lord that she loved so much and that she wrote her songs about. And if you, do, if you already know the Lord, I think she would invite all of us to get to know him a little bit more. Thank you very much, Linda. Before we have our first induction, we wanted to update you on Carol Channing. As many of you may know, Carol was supposed to be with us this evening to sing one of Dottie Rambo's songs. Sadly, Carol fell and she broke her hip on Thursday. We have been told that she's doing well and she's getting plenty of rest. And to Carol, we want to say, we send you our best and we wish you a very speedy recovery. 
Now to our first induction, and here to make the presentation is our chairman of the Senate Music Industry Committee. Please welcome Senator Jeff Mullis. Thank you. Our thoughts are with Carol tonight, but for Dottie Rambo, what a great career. She recorded over 2,500 songs. She was the first woman in the Southern gospel music to ever have a number one song on the charts. She was inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame twice, first as an individual and then a member of the gospel singing group, The Rambos, and is one of only 10 women ever inducted into Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. Of course, I'm talking about the queen of gospel music, Dottie Rambo.